Hey, what's up there, fishing friends? So, uh, welcome back to the channel. It's It's been about a year. Well, maybe not quite a year since I posted the video. Obviously, during the winter, we can't fish around here. It's a little too cold. But uh, this will be the first time out. Actually, this will be my second time out fishing. Uh, last weekend, I went out fishing. Didn't really do much. I ended up c catching one 10-inch um, largemouth. Uh, I'm going to go to a different lake today. I normally do some creek fishing. Well, I changed it up a little bit this year. I broke down and bought me a fishing kayak. Um, I've been wanting to get one for a while. I just didn't want to break the bank and uh, spend a whole lot of money. But you can't really, you know, you don't want to buy a super cheap one either. They do have some cheap, cheap ones out there, but, uh, you know, they don't, they don't fish so well. They're uncomfortable. They're not stable. Um, but then you can really step up and spend some money and, and get some really nice fishing kayaks. So this one here, I did a lot of research and this one has some great reviews. And honestly, for the money, I don't think you can get a better kayak for the money. Um, so I want to talk to you about this one a little bit. Um, I did take it out last weekend for the first time and uh, it, was, it was nice. It was really cool. Uh, it's very dry. You don't really get, uh, you know, wet with this thing. I'm sure, you know, if you get a lot of chop, you'll get a little bit of, a little wet, but it sits high in the water. Um, so let me show you, let me show you what I got here. So this thing is a Pelican. It's called a Catch 110 or a Catch Mode 110. Uh, they also make a larger one. This one's, this one's a little bit over 10 foot. Uh, they do make a, a larger one. I think it's a uh, 12 foot. Anyway, this thing is is really nice for this price point. It's very stable. It's kind of a tri haul design. It does have your uh, you know your your haul in the front, but then it kind of turns into a almost like a tri haul design up underneath, and it's hollowed all the way down the center. You know, it's got uh, these. If you get any water in it, you pop these out. They actually come with the kayak, which is really cool. And it drains out because it say, stays high enough in the water where no water will come in. The main thing about this one is the seat. Everybody, everybody has high, like really good reviews on the seat. This thing is very, very comfortable. Very comfortable. Um, I've got my rods kind of set up in here right now. So I'm basically, I'm just about ready to go out in the water. And uh, yeah, I just basically strap everything down. It's got, it's got a rod holder right here. You can lay the rods in. It's got the little area to put the, the tip of the rod in on both sides. It's got a little area for the rod to lay in. And then it's got this bungee to actually uh, lock the rods in. Well, I put, I carry, uh, two larger rods and two smaller rods and I have them rigged up you know different ways of course and I just throw both of them I put the small and the large on each side strap it in and uh, that's the way that's the way I uh, transport it I throw the seat down but man this seat is nice it's really nice it straps in it's got a strap in it so you can keep it secure it's very very comfortable it's got um, back support that you can adjust. It's got adjustments for the lower uh, that's underneath. Um, you can store stuff underneath here. And the, really the nice thing is, let me make sure I don't break my rods here. The nice thing is that right there, you can fold that seat forward. And then there's a small cushion here. This is for a higher seat mount if you want to actually sit up higher. Uh, in between here, you've got storage pop this back it it comes with the non-skid a lot of them don't come with these this one does come with them um, there's there's been a couple reviews where you know they've gotten these and they were they were peeling up obviously if these are clean really well when they put these on they will last a long time and what's good is you can get replacement parts for these from pelican um, everything they have on this thing 
is replaceable. I wish I wouldn't have it. Oh, I kind of have it geared up right now. I probably should have took everything out so you can really see what comes with it. It does come with one rod holder here. This is basically for when you're catching a fish, you can throw your rod in there real quick while you're uh, unhooking the fish. It comes with these, uh, these mounts here, one on each side. I went ahead and purchased, you can put anything on here, of course, as you guys know, you know, rod holders, camera holders, I mean, just about anything. Um, I went ahead and purchased, you know, a couple of these to tie off, um, you know, if I got to tie anything off. Sometimes you can tie off to a branch or a tree or whatever if you don't want to, you know, have the wind blowing you around if you uh, pick a good spot to fish. So I just, uh, I just bought those. It's got a really strong grab handle here. It gives you a lot of extra room so you don't pinch your, your fingers. That's a big plus. And on the front, it has the same thing. Really nice handle. I keep a, a pretty long rope tied to it. That way I can actually grab the rope and just pull it. It's got adjustable pedals, which is really nice. Um, you know, they are a little bit on the flimsy side, but um, you know, they, I don't see no bad reviews with them breaking. And uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, it's got cup holders or whatever you want to do here. They've got these, these bungees. You can slip a, you know, your cup in there, you know, to whatever, you can have whatever in there. That's a nice little feature. Now, this seat, you'll see a lot of reviews that this seat will actually slide side to side. And the reason why is this little bumper, these bumpers do not come with it. Uh, it's a very simple fix. I don't know why they don't put bumpers on these. These are just, uh, you know, some chair bumpers or, or uh, these, you can get these. I got them at Ace Hardware. They come in white or black. And I went ahead and got the black ones. Uh, they basically fit... Uh, you know the bottom of the chairs the bottom of tables and um, Yeah, five bucks or whatever they were for a pack of four So I put them on there and it keeps this from sliding side to side without that you'll get movement sliding side to side That was a big complaint people were complaining about but that's an easy fix on the back You have two built-in rod holders back here that angle back so I generally put my longer rods in these holders and then I'll leave my small ones laying up here when I'm fishing it's got a really big storage area back here with these bungees and uh, I just got me a milk crate I picked that up at Home Depot for like 12 bucks and I've got some you know just some stuff in there I've got a little bit of fishing tackle in there um, let me get this out of the way so the life vest in there, I've got some rope, and I've got my anchor in there. Um, for now, I just have an anchor with a nice small string, and whenever I throw the anchor out, I just tie it off right here. Eventually, I am gonna get um, some sort of an anchor trolley for this thing. It makes it really nice uh, to be pointed in the right direction whenever you're anchored out. And on this side, it's you know basically the same. This it does have a dorsal fin on the back that pops down that's really nice it keeps it uh, pretty straight when you're uh, you know when you're paddling it really helps a lot um, you still get some movement side to side in the front while you're paddling with it down but not nearly as bad as if it was up now um, the only thing is you can't reach back here to flip it up if you need to flip it up but what I found was it kind of locks down, but if, if it's hit something and it forces up, it won't break off. It will, for, it will pop up and drop back down. Now, another thing is cool is this is removable by these. These are just plastic push-ins and they sell an optional trolling motor mount or motor mount for this. You pop this whole thing up and then the new mount comes with there's I guess there's another hole drilled here and another one drilled here and the new mount has more push push pins but it's designed for a trolling motor or up to a two and a half horse gas engine which is really cool so that's why you can see the actual tri haul design there now if, if you was to do a trolling motor of some sort 
you would definitely have to get some kind of an offset handle that would come out you know to the right or to the left of you so you don't have to turn around and reach back that would be a problem there um, I may get one later but for now I'm just gonna you know go into some small lakes and um, maybe some creeks and fish this thing so what I've done so far as far as rigging up as you can see the the crate um, the tie downs you know right there on each side I went ahead and purchased these uh, these are pretty cool for uh, you know holding whatever I got it set up for a camera mount you can unlock this you can lift this off of here you put it back down and then you push this in and it locks it and it this particular arm that I have is really nice you know you can adjust it you can pull this up or down turn it side to side and then it has another attachment on here which can hold a camera it can hold just about anything you can put a light on this thing um, these are pretty cool so I got one set up for a camera in the front and then I have one set up for a camera in the back and uh, there again you know if you're fishing at night you could always put a light up here but uh, I'm not really planning on fishing at night and then on the front it's got a lot of storage up here get this out of the way um, it's got this if you take this off you know it, it actually you can remove it and you have a big storage area here that you can put you know coolers or whatever you want to do um, for now what I'm doing is I leave it in place I unlatch it right here and here and then I just slide my uh, my backpack this backpack is a tackle backpack um, I use it when I creek fish so I've got all my gear in there so for now I'm just going to keep using it eventually I'm going to get me a soft tackle box um, you know that'll sit right here but whenever I get out on the water I basically remove it and I set it right here so I can get to it but yeah this is really nice um, they've got some good quality bungees on this thing seem to be very strong I like this feature what this is is if uh, if you get into a position or situation you can throw your your paddle up underneath it like that and the paddle actually will lay along here and there's a little cutout right here for it that'll just lay right here and then you can also strap it in if you want um, I typically just leave it laying across uh, my my legs you know going crossways and yeah, even when I catch a fish but this is kind of a cool feature you know it's not bad um, I also picked up this paddle um, from Pelican when I bought it very very lightweight super nice paddle um, very affordable it's got a uh, measurement on it for your fish on both of them and when you basically you know you pop it together it's uh you can adjust it you can not not lengthwise but you can adjust you know how you want to grab a hold of it as far as paddling but it's very lightweight this is a an extra long paddle that was something that some of the guys um recommended instead of getting they they got they measure them in like millimeters i think it was 140 millimeters which was the average um other guys were saying in this particular kayak you know you, you kind of want a longer one especially if you flip the seat down and fish off the top of the seat or if you stand up this thing is so stable you can stand up in this thing and it, it it's very very stable so if you stand up and you want to paddle you know you want an extra long you want a long paddle so that's what i did i just got the long paddle and it uh, seems to work out really well but but yeah you can see this thing is it's nice i really like it um it's, i mean this is my first kayak i don't really have other ones to compare it to but for for the price point you just you just can't beat it it came in at 799 dollars and uh i mean you, you just can't beat it i've seen a lot of them out there for around that price and the main thing is the seat 
you have to have a comfortable seat. If you don't have a comfortable seat, you're not going to make it all day. And the first day I went out in this thing last weekend, um, I was out in this thing for probably seven hours and it was very comfortable. You know, I didn't have any issues at all with it. And it doesn't come in that heavy. Um, without all the gear on it, with the seat in it, it comes in at 67 pounds, 64 or 67, somewhere around there. It was in the 60s. Um, and let's see, the capacity of it, 375 pounds is what it says there. So it's rated for 375 pounds, which is, you know, that's that's pretty good, man. 375 pounds, that's not bad. So, uh, but yeah, I pretty much, I throw this, I could strap this in when I transport it, um, but I take these apart, I throw them in the, in the truck with me, and I just didn't want, you know, too much strapped across my rods there. So I do that, I lay the seat down, like that and then usually like when i'm on the water i'll put this right here i slide this back of course this is the fins out of the way and that's the way i ride just like that um, throw the seat back See, it doesn't even hit it. I can adjust the seat back a little bit further if I wanted to, the backrest, and uh, it works out really good. I can just reach back here, I, un poop, I open it up, grab my drink out, you know, sandwich, my snacks, whatever, you know, and it works out pretty good. And then of course up here, I keep the my tackle sitting right here. And uh, once I take a couple of my tackle uh, trays out, I just kind of leave them. I'll throw a tackle tray here. If you notice, it's got this little bump right here. That's so you can throw your, your tackle tray in that side, and it's got one on that side. So if you have your favorite tackle trays set up with all your, your lures in it, you can just throw them down the side right here, and easy access, you can get to them. So they definitely, they definitely thought this one out for the price point, for sure. This is uh, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I just basically pick it up, I slide it uh, forward into the bed, a couple of straps, and it's good to go. That's an eight foot bed, and it doesn't even hang over the tailgate. With the tailgate laid down, it comes right out to the end of the tailgate. Um, perfect size for somebody that's uh, just, you know, out there fishing. Um, and for a, a kayak that's the, a 10 foot kayak, it's, it's over 10 foot, it's 10 2, 10 5, 10 7, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it's, it's under 11. And it's perfect size, man, it's not too heavy, it handles very well, it's easy to get in and out of the truck, it's easy to uh, get, in out, get in and out of in the water. So uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend this kayak for sure. Um, and it comes in two different colors too. Um, I chose the 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 gray and the and the camo green and gray um, the other one i believe is orange it's like a camo orange and gray something like that um, i'm not even sure if they had that one in stock when i got this but i just like the way this one looks so so i got it eventually i'm going to get a trolling motor for this thing i really if i can get a trolling motor that has an offset handle that'll reach up to the side of me um, that's what i want to do and then I'll rig it up with a lithium battery to keep the weight down. But yeah, man, it's pretty cool. You know, it's, uh, it, it definitely looks badass. I, I really enjoyed taking it out. So I wanna go ahead and uh, load it up and uh, I'm gonna go hit another lake today and, and see what we do. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video for now. Uh, this is just gonna be a kind of a review video and uh, it'll be my first video of the year. And I'm hoping to have more videos for you guys, you know, out in this kayak catching some fish. I'm definitely going to be doing some, um, uh, today while I'm out, I'm definitely going to be videoing. And uh, I hope I have a good day out on the water. All right. I appreciate it. Uh, you guys definitely, if you haven't 
subscribe consider subscribing you know like the video share whatever you'd like to do uh, leave some comments on this this kayak if you if you look you'll see there's a lot of reviews on this kayak a lot of them that i've seen are the bigger one the 12 foot one there is some that shows this particular kayak um, so go check them out too and uh, let me know what you think about this kayak all right I appreciate you checking this one out and uh, I look forward to seeing you on the water.